What's going on you awesome creatives? In today's video, we're going to be following on from our last SketchUp tutorial and looking at components in your deck. Alright guys, so I've kind of opened up um, SketchUp here, created a really, really basic form. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of create a rectangle to represent a basic window. So, like normal, we're going to right click on that and we're going to hit make component. Now you guys have seen this in the last tutorial, we're just going to call this window. Now what I want to bring your attention to is this alignment and glue too, because we didn't look at this in our last tutorial in part one. So this is going to basically constrain that new component to any one of these surfaces. So we can go any surface, horizontal surfaces, vertical surfaces, or slope surfaces. You can also set component axes, which is going to change this red, green, and blue axis down the bottom. And we can also have always face away from camera. I wouldn't suggest doing that unless you know what you're doing because it's going to kind of just rotate the component depending on where your camera is looking. So if it's going to be for a window or something, obviously you do not want your window rotating um, and you want it locked into the building whenever you're looking at it. So just be mindful of that. Um, it can be a little bit tricky. So I'd only usually use it for trees and that kind of thing. Um, so if you're using a component with a PNG tree, obviously the PNG tree is going to be flat so you always want it facing the camera. Right, um, for this we're going to look at the alignment to any and we're going to hit create here. Now, over in our components panel, we've now got that newly window selected. If you don't have this components panel up, go into your window and select components down in here. Now we're going to select that component right now and like you just saw, we constrained it to any surface. So now whenever we hover over a surface, you can go over and it'll constrain to that. So you can see on slope surfaces, it's gonna create a tilt on it and align it to that. Same with vertical and horizontal. Now, if we wanna edit that and maybe we just want windows on our, our vertical faces, we can come in here and hit edit. And instead of glue to any, let's go glue to vertical, come back in, select our window, and you can see now that it's kind of selecting to a vertical surface. Now, if we select that, you'll notice now we've now got this stop sign and we cannot place a component there because we're not constraining it to slope surfaces. Same with horizontal surfaces, it will no longer let us place it there. So that's the basic, basic kind of alignment properties of your, of your components. Now I'm just playing with slopes, so obviously a slope surface there. Now I want to kind of bring your attention down to this dialog box as well, because you've also got this drop down menu over here. And we can kind of do components, my, my models, my collections. But over in here we've kind of got different ones provided by SketchUp. So if we go into component sampler, we've got different things like two girls and a dog, Nancy, all the old school kind of people. A few bike racks if we want to place those in benches now these are very very basic components and I would suggest that if you're after anything in more depth you're better off going for the 3d warehouse but these different components are really kind of worthwhile noticing that we've got there as well so you've got floating stairs and whatnot and you can always select this drop down menu and kind of go into architecture and this will take a little while to light up but you've got things like wall framing um, and that kind of thing in this kind of component section. Right, so we've got doors, DC cabinets, lighting, windows, um, HVAC, fireplaces, and electronics. All right, guys, so in this tutorial, we've kind of looked at the alignment of different components in SketchUp, as well as some of the generic options available. If you like this tutorial, leave a thumbs up down below. And if you want to learn anything more on SketchUp, 3ds Max, Revit, or Photoshop, let me know in the comments down below. Till next time guys, have an awesome week.